When I was younger, my mind was full of questions on the things around me. And on many occasions, I didn't just have one, but a series of questions. While the rudimentary questions like, why is the sky blue? Why is air invisible? Or even, why can't I be a Powerpuff Girl? Circle through my mind. I needed to find an answer to all of those questions. I tried to understand the world around me. And I thought, there must be a reason for an action and its execution. I was really small, just 11 years old. I went to my father and I asked him, why does one do whatever they do? And to my surprise, his answer was simple and unassuming. He said, Karta ki kriya hi uska dharam hai, which translates as a pretty simple mathematical equation. That is, y is equal to doer plus action, wherein the y component is the dharam or the religion, the karta is the doer or the executor, and the kriya is the action performed by the executor. And now, since Everyone wants to universally be happy. We're continually looking to, the an to an answer to the question, what does one need to do to be happy? If I plug this into the formula that I have, that is my equation, it looks like this. Happiness is equal to individual plus the doer, wherein the individual and their happiness are constants. And to make this equation work, our actions must result in happiness. There are two types of happiness, short-term and long-term. Let me begin by talking about short-term happiness. There are five organs of perception, which enable our five senses, that is, the ears, eyes, nose, tongue, and our skin. And five organs of action, speech, hands, legs, excretory, and reproductory, which react and are the discerning faculties along with our minds, which work as the control units. All our mind and intellect are constantly operating as our control units that protects us. And all of our actions must translate to what makes us happy. One may feed the sensory organs so the mundane pleasures and sights that we experience in our everyday life are the uh, sensory organs. And to feed the sensory organs, one might be uh, listening to a favorite song, um, going to the cinema tonight, or you might have a good, had a chai latte before coming here. However, all of these are feel-good factors. They're short-lived. They're not permanent. One feels good or bad due to four chemicals released in our brain that are endorphins, serotonin, oxytocin, and dopamine. Once the effect of these chemicals fades, our mood changes. So how do we achieve long-lasting happiness? When I was 15, I left home and went all the way to Singapore to study in an international school. And there were quite a few days when I felt low. One day, I was standing at a bus stop when I saw two lively and energetic girls who, however, were both bald. They, we took the same bus. They came up to me, smiled, and made a conversation with me. That is when I realized they were cancer patients. I wanted to do something to help them. And one thing that, was, that I could see at that time was that while they were hairless, I had a head full of long black hair. So that evening, I went back to my boarding house. I looked up NGOs where I could donate my hair. Luckily, I found one back in India that supported the cause. And what did I do next? I found myself. I realized happiness lies in giving. 
I had a reason to grow my hair after that. I wanted to donate it more often. Once, twice, and for all times to come. Be it a benevolent act, skydiving from 15,000 feet, going underwater water with scuba, or just spending quality time with family can yet be someone else's reason for happiness. But my supreme reason for happiness isn't giving. Happiness is a choice. Today and always, I choose to be happy no matter what. But the reality is, while some days are bright and sunny, full of energy, there are days that are rainy and plain dull. The golden days pass by very smoothly. I am happy and life is colorful. But there are days when I'm not in the best of my spirits. I find that my perfect formula takes a back seat. Suddenly, the doer plus action makes a grumpy face. So what do I do when this happens? I wake, in the, wake up in the morning and I smile. I smile, I pull myself together, I eat my almonds, drink my coffee, and I go to school. I see the first person at school. I smile and I say, good morning. How are you doing? How is your day going so far? And they tell me how their day is going. If their day is good, that is perfect. And if it's not, then it simply isn't. And they may proceed to tell me why. I am no expert, but I do hope that subconsciously they think, OK, I got this. Someone is there for me. Someone cares. I am not alone. Because by telling me how their day is going, they automatically feel a little better about themselves. Thanks to a little simple action on my part, they feel better. And I can become the reason someone is able to get, get through the hard day, this hard day of theirs comfortably. I feel happier. I feel better about who I am. I meet the second person. I greet them with a smile, and I ask the same questions to them. And this process goes on and on. You see, it is a cycle. You can imagine how many times I make myself feel a little happier until my bad day becomes a good day. I may fake that smile on all my bad days until that smile is not so fake anymore. I keep it because by making people around me happy, I feel better about, better about who I am. And I feel happy that I am on this planet. I'm worth being on this planet. That's why. Be generous with smiles, kind words, good thoughts, and good wishes for everyone you meet. Mother Teresa said, spread love everywhere you go. Let no one come to you without leaving happier. Our life comes a full circle, and I reiterate the formula. Y is equal to doer plus action. I know it works for the long term, even for short term happiness. Because happiness is an all-pervasive and fundamental instinct of human life. It is a universal why. It is the desired outcome of all our actions. Giving back to the society satiates me. And I have found this to be the panacea for my state of action and being. Thank you.